Hey guys, The Bloon here and today's another BTD6 video and today's going to be firing range on chimps and I'm really excited about today's video because as you can see we have now done a chimps tutorial for everything on beginner and everything on intermediate which means we can officially move into those advanced and experts. I know I've done a few here and there but now we get to really get into it and hopefully I can have some muddy puddles or some ouch for you here real soon but those are pretty crazy. But for today guys it's going to be a super simple strategy like super super simple to follow so you should have zero problems with this on firing range so grab your pat and let's jump right in. Hope you all grabbed your pat because I had open in the bottom left corner and I almost started this with him so that would have been kind of a bummer. So grab your pat and the first thing we're going to do is drop our ninja and as I've said many many times before if you can drop a ninja and he can actually get through the first three rounds on his own I would always recommend it just because on like tons of these maps him and the alchemist can handle the moab on their own and it's going to work out for this one too. So it's a simple start and that's what we're going for. You guys can change things up. And when I do these strategies, I do like to change things up, which is why we're going to use a different tower than we normally use today as well. But for the beginning and the starts, guys, you kind of just got to do what you got to do. So use your dart monkey, use three of them, use your ninja, use whatever you can to get past those first few rounds in chimps. And then that's kind of where you can have your fun and try different strategies out and the synergies between them and stuff. And for instance, today it was firing range, right? And I've actually avoided this this like map for a while now and we um just we got seeking shurikens by the way guys i'm going off in tangents but we got to do seeking shurikens first and then get ninja discipline and then get sharp shurikens and then get double shot that's how we're going to start this one off a little different than we normally do because we would normally go for our hero but i want pat right here and it's for good reason later we'll see but um anyways guys i kind of avoided this map because it looked a little scary to me because it comes out like most of the track is down here right and it's at the bottom and i wanted more room up at the top so i thought it was scary but then i jump into it start playing it, i'm like you actually get like two or three times to hit these things so really not that difficult and it's actually pretty simple so this strategy is going to be really fun and really simple and we're going to change it up and because it's like a firing range like a military base i wanted to use the specter because in the stream on Wednesday, we were going after it. I think Siebes was defending the Spectre and I was talking trash on it. And we're all talking trash on it and some people weren't and back and forth because I don't really rely on the Spectre too much unless, I like him because he has that like 100% overclock because of the price he costs. But then at the same time, like he lets me down a lot because he likes to chase the balloons in the wrong direction. He shoots his little beam wherever you don't need it to and kind of things like that. So then, it does make sense that your placement and how you have his targeting path will, you know, affect those kinds of things. So long story short, it works for this map and it's going to be kind of fun. So we're going to showcase the specter that he can be good in the right situations, but don't get me wrong. We are going to use an ice impaler as well. And that thing can literally make any tower great. So, and we'll see what we can do, but I just liked it because like a military tower on a military base and fun with but anyways, guys, we got up to the double shot here. You probably could have gone with just sharp shurikens and then got your hero but I had one round when I did it through that it didn't work. And so I was like, we can't have that. We gotta have this perfect, if I'm gonna say on the intro that it's super, 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 super easy. And so that's what we're gonna work with now. So we're gonna remove this thing here and then we're gonna put our pat here. And the reason why we're gonna put him up here is because I don't know if he even fits on the bench, I doubt it. But also because we're gonna put the plane right underneath him and Pat's gonna give the plane that super buff that Pat gives, which is gonna be super cool at the end and make it just really easy. And we're going to have a lot of money left over. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want to do. I'm going to go Moab Eliminator just because I've been obsessed with him lately as well as the Ice Impaler. Like them two together are great because Ice Impaler does everything up to 100. And then Moab Eliminator takes down 100. So been digging that combo lately. All right, now what I'm going to do is grab a Alchemist because I don't want to rely on Pat for leads. And we're going to place him right underneath here. And we're going to get up to just a 200 for now for that acidic mixture dip. And that'll help the this guy pop leads and then he pops leads as well, as you know. So we'll be chilling there. Then what else, guys? Um, so now that we have done all the beginner and intermediates, I need you guys' help. So if you guys are just catching this video and you're new to the channel, but you watched an old one, like I just got a comment on Park Path that it was people were having problems with it. Um, let me know if you guys are having issues with my older strategies or if you tried them and they're not working. But uh, just make sure that you'd actually tried them to the fullest and that it wasn't something like a fluke or something crazy that happened because I'm trying to revamp the ones that are needing revamp because I went back and watched Park Path after I got a couple of comments saying it was bad or wasn't working. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. it's like the journey I've followed it to get to this point because at that time, 
I was literally like, this is my, this is my strategy guys. Like, all right guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just drop this guy here. Cause he makes these things go boom. And this one does a lot of work too. So we're just gonna bang these balloons up. And I didn't really, not that I'm like the most technical guy at all. Cause I'm definitely not, if you know me, but, um, I didn't even know the names of anything. I was just calling them random things and just placing them at my, at a whim. And I ended up finishing that one with three first strikes like an arctic wind and a random spot of the park and it was just like what am i doing so this has been a crazy fun journey and just a lot of different things and that was before discord and dreams and all that kind of stuff so i was on my own and now that i've opened myself up to the community and all you awesome people now we know more stuff so long story short if you find a video to be a little bit outdated or a little weird let me know and i'll try to up load new ones now that I can explain it a little better or the fact that I know a little bit more than I used to. So it's pretty exciting stuff. And now what we're going to do, we got a balloon jitsu, we got a two zero zero alchemist and we got a pat. So now what we're going to do is grab a berserker brew and then a stronger stimulant, of course. And from here, guys, it's going to get it so simple. And the only time we're going to even intervene with really anything besides just upgrading and buying towers is at the end or in the nineties. So um, it's kind of a bummer. It still makes it really easy. It doesn't change the difficulty, but we're going to have to do the thing where you have to um, overclock your plane every time it revamps itself, which is really not that big of a deal. I'm just lazy and don't like to do that. And sometimes I forget, but then it's really nice on like, for the first time I used that tech bot on Impoppable. And I was like, this is so cool. I never actually used it. And the thing rocks because you just leave it and forget about it. So if you have banana farms and a tech bot on your overclock guy, you're killing it. And I'm like, this is really cool. So I would use those if you guys have not before because they're kind of fun. But for this one, we're almost there, guys. We can take 40 as it is, and I think we're going to. But we're going to grab a plane here just to get ready. And we're going to put the plane right here under Pat, guys. So um, as close as you can get to him because we still have room to put the ice, guys. It's not a big deal. And then from there, we're going to get sharper darts, centered path, rapid fire, loads more darts, all the good stuff. And we're going to go to infinite, no, figure infinite. We're going to go 202 for now, and then we're going to get never miss targeting. And after that, we're just going to go straight for the Spectre. We can let this guy deal with all the camos and the leads and all that stuff until then. They're doing great on their own and they kill it. Guys, it's just, this is, this is cool. I'm glad this channel has gotten this far and you guys are so awesome. And I remember um, watching that video. I, was, I also did that like every video. I'd be like, oh my gosh, guys, today I got like three more subs and I'm at like 50 subs and I'm thank you guys so much. And I was so stoked about every little thing and I still am. I just don't want to bore you guys with every time giving like a sub count. But guys, we are at like 13,500 and it is nuts. So thank you guys so much for this journey and this craziness. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy this stuff. And if you don't, let me know why. Because um, like I said, I grew from what I used to be, but maybe it's not the right direction for everybody. So let me know what you guys like and what you would like to see next and things like that. And not in just far of like maps, but just in terms of content and how you guys like your content to be on the platter, I guess. But for now, guys, we're going to wait until we get to 25,920 for the Spectre. And then from there, it's just going to be even easier. So let's jump to that. So we're coming up on this Spectre here, guys. And at, when I first built this strategy, I was like, hmm, can he make it that far with just the camos and the leads? And then can we get to 50 or can we get the Spectre before 59? And you definitely can. And just look how easy this is. I love the Ninja and the Alchemist. They just together, they're just OP and it's a little crazy. But this guy has his fair share of pops too, so he can't complain too. But just leave him infinite figure or figure infinite. I'm not sure if that's the best, but it works just enough for this one. So there might be a better path for this map. I'm not exactly sure. I tried the circle and what, at least for with me, you'll see, look at him chase all these balloons. So the center path's a little ugly. So I went back to this one and seemed to be the best, but maybe I'm wrong, who knows, but it works. So now what we're gonna do guys is grab a village and put it here and put it right at the tip top of the bottom of the specter and as you can see there's a little white outline around pat so we're chilling and we're gonna go for camo first so these guys can help out we're gonna go bigger radius jungle drums and next what we're gonna do guys is we already have this we'll get mib later for our ice monkey but for now we're just gonna place the ice monkey and save up him like this is as simple as it gets guys it's just a drag and drop kind of strategy and once we get him it's actually really kind of fun because I just love this tower. I don't know, like I never really used it. And then after I started just milking it with this guy, he literally on 99, all right? Like 99 is one of the hardest ones because you got those fortified DDTs. This guy literally just goes, nope, not today guys. And then he stops them in their path, letting the specter or whatever tower you choose to use 
just destroy what's there and which is really cool because you could kind of use whatever you want and that's what makes this game fun is there's so many different options and possibilities you guys may try this a whole different way but hopefully you guys have been following from the beginning and you guys also have chimps done for all beginner and intermediates and if not go back and check those videos out and um let's work on those black borders and as you guys saw i should have black borders for them but i haven't done half cash because i like to do half caches for the videos and then i feel like if i do them before if i black border them then make a video i'll forget which ones i did even though there's like a lot of it's just my OCD. So that's what we're doing there. So hopefully eventually we'll have them all black bordered. But guys, I started working on like, I tried working on muddy pipes and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, then I went to ouch and I'm having troubles on impoppable. And I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to do these videos for these guys? It's going to take me like, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm sure I can figure it out, but it's going to take some time. It's not as simple as getting lucky with this timing. And with something like this, it's like what takes the most time is getting the beginning ready. And after you get that, you're like, okay, I know what's coming next. 55 is kind of hard. 59, you got to get those camel heads. So you kind of know what to put down. But it's the beginning that's hard. But for ouch, it's like every level is hard. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So we're working on it. But guys, it's just kind of craziness and different and things like that. But on another note, I'm back to me just talking about random stuff because I enjoy it and it makes it fun. So if you guys will like it, I'm sorry, you guys can skip ahead because we're just waiting for our ice impaler at this point. So you guys can skip ahead i'm not gonna be doing anything too crazy and you're not gonna use abilities nothing like that but i have to make a really cool announcement so i've mentioned it before that i finally found a way to get my own coffee so the balloon coffee and it is the coolest feeling ever and the thing that's been setting me back is obviously this whole crazy thing going on and then i needed to finish my logo and i couldn't i just didn't look right i wanted to use what i have but i'm like i ain't putting my face on a coffee bag that's ridiculous enough to have it as my logo so put on coffee bag too much then i was like okay what can i do I finally came up with it and um, I'm going to show you guys right now what I have working on for the label. It's definitely not finished. I don't even think I can have that colored background. It has to be kind of, I think it has to be white and then I have to change the writing and the fonts, clean up the penguin, things like that. But this is what we're working on. And guys, within hopefully within like a couple weeks here, we're going to have the bloom coffee and hopefully since the roaster I'm using is very local to me, it could be even cheaper than you buying a normal bag of coffee, which is just really cool. And I'm excited about the whole thing super stoked and of course i will tell you guys as soon as i have one in my hands it'll be in the video it'll be floating around and stuff pretty excited about that but guys it's been pretty crazy trying to find things to do and keep busy when everything's closed and doesn't work out because of this whole virus and all that kind of stuff but we're getting by and we're making strategies and i hope you guys are liking them too because next week guys i'm even super excited because for those of you who have made it this far and didn't skip ahead to me just blabbering, um, I'm going to say the word today is, what's the word of today? Spectre, guys. Spectre is the word of today. And that's S-P-E-C-T-R-E. -E, because I know a lot of you just like to skip ahead. So for those of you true fans who are super awesome and sit there all every word that I mutter out of my mouth, um, you guys are awesome and leave that word below. So I know that you guys are awesome. But um, so I've been getting a lot of requests for the challenge editor video. I'm going to definitely knock that out next. I'm really excited about it. Um, but I don't know how to title it to make people because you're never going to search like how to use challenge editor, right? And so because of how YouTube works and unless you have the notification bells, you don't even see my stuff even if you're subscribed. And so I'm like, hmm, how can I title this to make it work for everybody? So working on the title, it's a working title. But once I get that, guys, I'm really excited because I think that after I show you guys that video on how I make my strategies, that a lot of you will be able to make your own strategies and probably not even use half of my channel anymore. But it'll be kind of cool because you guys will get to see behind the scenes and work on your own and see how easy it is to make a strategy. It really doesn't take much work. You just kind of have to know a little bit about the towers here and there and then spend a lot of time going back and forth retrying each round. But it's so easy thanks to Challenge Editor. Really excited to show you guys that. Okay, that was a lot of talking and I really apologize guys. I know lately I've been not talking and I've been like skipping ahead, but bring it back a little bit since I watched one of my old videos and I'm sitting there talking about like my favorite cola, my favorite day of the week. And I was just like, oh my God, I was having such a fun time. Let's bring it back to those days. That's what we're doing here, guys. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys all for watching this far and you guys are awesome. But we're about to grab this guy right here. Icicle Impale, and as you guys know, once we grab him, it's pretty much game over. He's gonna say, nope. Just watch this one. Nope. Yeah, it just stops every every Moab class in his track, and it's a little ridiculous. I see them um, nerfing this guy pretty soon because him paired with some other strong towers or another staller, it just gets a little bit ridiculous, like I said. 
but we're going to grab a monkey intelligence bureau here and then we're going to grab hmm, let me see what was it i think we're pretty much done oh no 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 we're going to get the, um, the overclock that's what we're going to we're gonna get overclock and I'm not gonna use it though. We don't need it until like 92, 93. And you can use it if you want to, but like I said, it's it's a lot of work to have to sit there and overclock every time it revamps. And so we're just gonna get it as lately as possible or just start using it as late as we need to, which is around 92, 93. And then at that time, using it like what, two or three times around maybe. So we'll get there and we're almost there but meantime guys if it looks a little scary and you guys are having troubles for whatever reason maybe you didn't have them the same pixels as me even though i've done this a few times so i know this works through so you shouldn't have any problems but if you do or whatever you do have pat's ability right here and i'll show you on 82 let's try and pat's ability is why we put this guy here it lasts for not that long but long enough to get that first burst out and just kind of thin out the herd and so you guys should just use that if you have any troubles and then in the meantime Grab your overclock right here. Keep him in range of the tower, not that it needs to be, but maybe you want to get an alchemist. So I'd put him over here out of range of him, but we're not going to get one. We don't need one. And then I was kind of just like monitoring the over or the alchemist's power with the plane. And it seems that the plane shoots so fast, the alchemist doesn't really do anything. So um, your call, you guys need it if you want, to, but I'm not going to. And now I'm just going to kind of skip ahead until I have the 14,000 for this overclock. So we're well over the amount, but let's grab that overclock. And then this is around that you could have used uh, Pat's ability if you wanted to just to thin those things out because two ZOMGs is kind of a little bit, but it really doesn't matter because we have another row and then another row before it actually is going to cause us any problems. So we're chilling. And if you guys want to, you can use your overclock, but I'm not going to because I mean, you can just use it if you want to, but you kind of have to keep using it. And I'm really lazy, so we're not going to do that. We'll use that later. But at this point, guys, we are done. Now, only thing we really have to worry about until the end is going to be round 100. And I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty 100% positive this can make it all the way through. I did it on Challenge Editor, had a bunch of money left over. I might have done something else too. I don't think so. No, 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 that's all I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I was like, hmm, what should I use for the final? I had like 60 grand left. So I tried the first strike, of course that works. I tried the Moab Eliminator, of course that works. Then I tried just random things and to my surprise, not a lot of them actually worked that like I thought they would. So you guys use what you want. I'm going to use the Moab Eliminator, so I'm going to start buying him now. But it really, like I said, guys, doesn't matter. Um, you don't even need him to get to round 100. You can buy him right at 99 and see how much money you have left over and then be like, hmm, I want to try this guy instead. Oh, the other one that worked too. So um, not just first strike, I went preemptive strike and that was kind of fun. So that worked very well too. But we're going to go for Moab Assassin, Moab Eliminator, go bigger bombs, heavy bombs. And we're going to save up for 27,000. And I will skip ahead to either A, when I have the money for the Moab Assassin or Eliminator, or B, when I start using my overclock and stuff so you guys know when to go on that. But for now, I think we're going to be good up until like 92. So I slowed it down here and I'm going to start overclocking on 91 just because... I don't want any problems here, guys. We don't want any crazy stuff. Like I said, this is an easy strategy, but it's still easy to mess up. We're in the 90s, right? And there's always something that can go wrong. So just to make sure we're gonna keep keep on keeping on, we're gonna keep hitting that gear button. We're not quite there yet. We're almost there. Just need a couple more bucks and just keep hitting that overclock. Just be careful with it though, guys. Just be careful with it because you don't wanna overclock the wrong thing. I do it a lot. All right, so. And remember, you do have Pat's ability, which is very short, but generates regenerates pretty awesomely fast. So it's kind of awesome to have. You can use them up to like two times on a lot of the rounds. So it's gonna be kind of cool. Uh, remember, keep on hitting that overclock. Don't let it even grab for a second. I mean, I let it fail sometimes and it it's a close call. So just to make sure that you're safe, just always make sure you have it on. And then, so 93 is not too bad. We can kind of deal with that one. 94 is a little more rough. We might use Pat's ability. But just try not to use his bear hug ability because it doesn't really like for 97 it's cool because there's only two zomgs so it, it doesn't matter but like if you were to use his bear hug he's not going to punch those balloons and stop them which is the problem so he kind of stops what he's supposed to be doing but for this one guys i am going to use pat's ability because it'll probably regenerate in time and then also we got a lot of zomgs coming here so we don't want to mess up and then try to slow it down every time you go to do your overclock too if you're on your mobile, I understand that could be kind of a pain. So, or maybe not, I guess. Just slow it down when you can so you can try to save as much time as possible. Because if you don't oh, slow it down to overclock, you're going to drop a couple seconds or milliseconds, whatever it is. And I'm not saying it's going to make or break you, but why take the chance, right? 
And so we're gonna overclock again to slow it down and we do have enough for our Moab Eliminator. Now we have four solid abilities here, guys, and they all have their purpose. So overclock's a 100% constant thing. And if you guys didn't know, it's because we spent 40,000 or less under on our Spectre. I am gonna use the ability here on 95, which is I have my overclock already going and I'm gonna use my first pat ability. But um, sorry, I just want to make sure we got that ready. And then we can also to use our Moab Eliminator if you want to. You don't need to for this yet. I'm going to use it probably on like 98, 99, things like that. But for this one, just let it kind of go. Our Ice Tower is literally doing all of the work. And our Spectre is just kind of cleaning up the mess underneath. So hooray for this dude. He is killing it. Literally killing it. And I forgot to do my ability. Always, right? Okay, so 96 might be a little tough. But we're going to have this ready to go, our Pat. So use it as soon as it's ready. Even if it's, I'll wait a second in case you guys didn't have it right away. And this is going to be super simple. And you guys also too, like these are the last towers I'm going to buy. So feel free to get like a shattering shells to help on 98 and just kind of go from there. But I'm going to show you how to do it without it. Just so you don't have any problems and we're not going to really worry about it too much. So um, you can leave that one there. I almost hit the wrong ability. Okay. Just like that. So keep overclocking. Like I said, and you guys will be fine. And then 97, this is where I was going to say every ability has its use. So you can use Pat's ability on this one, but not on the other ones. Because watch this. So when it gets in range, it's totally fine if he bear hugs this guy. Because now he's not stopping his main purpose, which is to slow them down like he's doing right there, right? So when he's punching him, he's slowing him down. If you bear hug, he's not slowing him down. So for this one, it's okay. You can even bear hug this one again. It's all good. Whatever works, guys. Doesn't matter. You would have beaten this round either way. But 98 is where it gets a little tough. So what we're going to do... We're going to slow it down. We're going to overclock and make sure we don't have to worry about that. Make sure you overclock the right thing. And we're going to pat ability right away. And what we're doing here is we're 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 trying to get it to regen. And we want him to clean up as much as he can in the beginning. The Spectre, that is. And the Ice Impaler, too. Let's let them both do their job. All right? I am... You can use a Moab Eliminator here to make it even easier. I don't think we're going to need to. But just to clean up so we don't get any slippage. We're going to use Pat's ability again as soon as it pops up. And we're going to use the overclock again. I know that might seem a little crazy if you guys are kind of newer to this game, but if you guys are working on these intermediate maps, I imagine that you guys are a little bit familiar with, you know, abilities and things like that. So it's really not daunting to you. And what we're doing is that Pat gives a boost and Overclock gives a boost. So we're just keep boosting our Spectre. That's our main focus here. And then fortunately, we're actually getting a boost to the Ice Impaler, which is awesome too, because Pat is in range of him. So that's all we're doing here, guys. Pretty simple stuff. And we don't really need it for, I'm going to stop this auto start. I'm, I'm over breathing here, talking too fast. I need to slow these rounds down because I'm just going to like head the umbrella. All right. So after this round, guys, I don't think we're going to use our abilities other than the same ones we've just been using. So we're going to use our Pat ability. So let's use Pat. And then as soon as that overclock's ready, but literally the Ice Impaler is doing our job for us and which is amazing. And that's why I love this guy. He's making 99 seem like 63. Like it's super simple and I love it. But now guys, here is the final test. It is 99. Are we ready for it? Yes, we are. It's going to be super simple. So what we're going to do is have your abilities ready, but we've already have used our overclock. So we're good for the most part. You guys may have just used it or may have not used it. So use that one as soon as it's ready. Use Pat as soon as it's ready and then keep bombing that Moab eliminator. Again. That's literally all there is to it. Just bomb it and it's going to regenerate. So bomb it again. I'm going to speed up a little bit here and then we're going to bomb it again. And just keep bombing and using your abilities when they come up. And it's that simple. But as you can see, we still have $20,000 left. So you guys could have gone with whatever you want. You probably could have gone with the big bomb instead of the Moab Eliminator. In which case, I think it would have had enough time to pop everything inside. But it's all good. But we're going to use Pat's ability to make this guy even stronger. So he's getting more pops right now. Use that Moab Eliminator. And as you can see, it's going to pop before it even gets past this second row. Which is very, very nice and convenient. Because then the Ice Impaler is going to stop everything in its track right there. Super simple stuff. I'm loving it. Hope you guys are loving it. And we can blow it up even more if you want to. It doesn't really matter at this point. You can use your pat. That was a lot. I think if you were like a, what are those people called that are in courtrooms that do the typing stenographer or something like that? I think if you were to count how many words I said, I said more in this video than I have in like the last six videos combined. I was just a chatter box. But this is a fun one. And it's just a cool milestone for the fact that we've done all of the intermediate and all of the beginner maps now, guys. That's pretty good stuff. That's pretty cool, monkey. It's all good. How many guys, how many instances did you guys get in that Easter event? Unfortunately, I did not grind the events. I never usually do, but they talked me into buying this thing on stream, which was actually pretty fun. Or is it not here no more? Oh, it was um, T 
tier five or tier four instas tier five it was the best ones you can get and they had a um was it yeah it was tier five is there five tiers in this game or four I'm not forgetting everything. It doesn't matter, guys. But I bought the one for $10, like a sale they had going on, and I did it. I got 10 Instas, which was pretty awesome. And why can't I remember for life? I Man, I have to look it up because I'm driving myself crazy. There's five. There. Okay, so I got 10 tier five Instas for $10. It was pretty cool. You guys should have checked it out. I think it was only a limited time, though. But how many did you guys get during that grinding event? Because I'm curious. Because I think Bachelor Chalupa was getting tons of them. A lot of people were getting tons of them. I did not do it unfortunately but i hope you guys had a good time here this is a super simple strategy i babbled and babbled and babbled in the middle about all the craziest things i could babble about because i love that stuff man i love talking about crazy stuff so if you guys are here you guys know the name or the word of the day if you guys saw that because you guys are awesome and then stay tuned for next week guys that challenge editor video so you guys can make your very own strategies and be pro at this game not saying that i am but you guys will take it to further steps i'm hoping and make it even better and then be like hey doubloon i got this really cool ouch chimp for strategy for you i'm like cool let's try it out things like that so i'm really excited about this and the future and everything and thank you guys for subbing and following on twitch and all that kind of stuff you guys are awesome and i really appreciate every single one of you and unfortunately the comments have gotten out of my control to where i cannot possibly physically comment on every single one of them but i do comment on the ones occasionally that i can get to so thank you guys so much for all the love and support and i will see you guys next time